Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated full magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. So, what's it gonna be? Got an itch need scratching? Won't find any better from the Yaru. Thanks for your help, girl. Before. Just this morning, my Greta came back from the market for news. Some mysterious. Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we gonna visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horse and Junior. Wrong direction. Horson's headquartered on Temple Isle. So I thought. But I think we should check something first. Zoltan claims the word in town is we're more likely to run into Horson around here. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. Ugh. Those children.
stupid old goat! <laughs> you stupid old goat! You stupid old goat! Not what I thought I'd find. Orson Jr. wasn't a pious man. But there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once. For his life, since the gods disliked Jr., they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret. That at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death. For he had had the courage then to do so. Courage he would never have again. Wonder what happened to him. We'll soon find out. Who? Who's there? Remember me? You. You can. You little ass fuck. Oh, you, you pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. Witcher! It's all your fault. At me, you cocksucker. I've naught left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. Ow! Little shit! here I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. A girl who works there helped me. This girl we're going to see. Who is she again? Friend of Dandelions. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. That Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Bigger rat bigger than me. I admit Gave you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you God, give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Yugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. Sorry. <sighs> Thank you. They <clears throat> seem more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's <laughs> so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. That 
Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for Stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt, you're terrible. What I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. this friend of yours? Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello. What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. What's eating him? Don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. You were faster once! Giving you a head start.
faster. You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. Still beat you. I let you win. <laughs> Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know. Perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. Huh. Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? Hmm. Well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... And felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town, not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. Think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. You worry too much. What will be, will be. <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. I can't admit all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. The sooner you get rid of that illusion, the better. What do you mean? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. I'd rather know how you fared with the merchant. Managed to get some horses? <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. 
We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. None of this concerns us. This does concern me. These are my friends. They'll manage on their own. If Siri wishes to ride with us, she should. She's not your property. I won't let her risk her neck for thieves. What is this? Have you gone mad? We were to revel, not to punch each other to a pulp. Had a falling out with Siri's companion. Siri, much as I hate to say it, I think it's time the two of you left. I know. The magic's gone. Sorry. I'm going down to the riverside. I want to take a walk, be alone for a bit. I understand. Let's meet at Dandelions. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or brews? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you.
Let me have a look. Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I, I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any word. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fibre, see, and the, the damned stuff grows as thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. Uh, light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. Come on, Roach.
Go! Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Blood. Dried. A few days old. seen him. to these parts, Master. Lost your way? No. Looking for someone. Ah. Do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place, exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work, and the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. Well, he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So long.
bloodstains, months old. door. Know anything about that? Aye, of course. Judd Gut's game in there. In someone else's hut? None live there no more, see? And working neath the roof, it's more pleasant. Civilized. Rain don't whip and sun don't blind. But why poke your nose in there to start with? You know what happened to the Falkert fellow? My woman told you. Fulkert, ripped open, gutted and drained. No way to determine the cause of death. Diet, that what you like? Master, not at all. Tate like that. Best hope not, or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. We're old and frail. We've no strength to plow or sow, but we gotta eat. Have pity, Master. Folks say we witchers have no feelings. It's a barefaced lie. Right now, I feel rage, and I can't wait to vent. You white man, bad whore! <sighs> Humans.
Hey there. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. He was... Uh, really no gentle way to put this. Cannibals ate him. Cannibals? A short ride from Novigrad. In Velen, that would be one thing, but... But here... Gods! You slew them, right? Tell me you killed them! I did. He's been avenged. There's that. Uh, your coin. Take it, and... And now please, be on your way. I must write to Falkert's parents. I heard the legends of the White Wolf. Yes, Geralt? I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. In Alan, Dwan, Ar Ais. and the What am I doing here? It's a bond. <laughs> Who are you? What's the last thing you remember? I remember a hill. A battle. 
I had orders for a unit. I remember a sorceress. Her hair like flames. She cast a spell. The right flank was to attack. Hit the shield bearers. The right flank didn't attack. And the sorceress was Lita Nade, known also as Coral. I was there too. This... this happened long ago. She said it. You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. Drink. I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or series? Spare me your lecture about responsibility. I was actually going to recite an anthem praising your glory, but if you're not in the mood... Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenford. I also learned the identity of a man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the Lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Bay Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! 
Best run and get him. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Huh. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Derard alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. They say Dayron's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. You choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs, rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day, the wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Oh, not officially, but you know how it is. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I've a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. This drink is nearly night.
Get up. They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakaman as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. He'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf flinging around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. As they say, The legends of the white folks. Redania. You'll choke to death on three pounds Carol. of steel. Find a way in? Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Oh, which, uh... Come, it's a short way away. Here we are. This is it? Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming? Mucking through ruins and sewers? Hmm. I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. Wet clothes. Oh, joy. stuff. Long tight. Won't budge. Gotta be a lever around here. 
here somewhere. do it. brittle.
Who's that? Geralt. God, I'm hallucinating. Getting you out of here. It's pointless. He'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back.
What, what are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. Rita, what have they done? When I get my hands on those whore songs... I'll gladly help. If I live to see it. I must take her from here. Immediately. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. Happiness will come to you. Another drifter into Tamaria. Geralt! What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. any time, do they? I don't like this. Neither do I. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Got nothing to be afraid of. Just go. Listen to what they have to say. And if they try to force me into something? Can't believe you'd ever let them. Margarita's only ever cared about your education. Doubt she'll try to drag you into politics. Philip is tougher, plays a mean game but ultimately respects those who hold to their views. If she makes you an offer, and you firmly turn it down, she'll respect that. Thanks, Geralt. Well, go. Don't give him any more time to strategize. Seriously. True. Good decision. Relax. She'll be fine. Rita won't hurt her, but Philippa. She can be ruthless. Siri's been in tougher situations and come out of them all right. True. We managed to instill some principles, skills that have helped. Exactly. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Of course. I'll just have a peek. Finally. Thought you wouldn't do it. Didn't have the gall. 
What do you see? Philippa pontificating. Siri pacing wall to wall. She stopped. She's saying something. Philippa's turned pale. That's my Siri. Probably gave her an earful. Quiet! Here she comes. So? You were eavesdropping? Yes. No. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. If you want to be alone for a while, to digest, process... Yes. I shall go for a walk. I must unwind. I hope she's... She'll be fine. She's tougher than we think. You ought to visit Avalok. He wished to see you, apparently. That's as much as love. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? So long.
Geralt. Good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Need... Take care now. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got.
sehr. Not looking good, I tell you. Use some hair of the hound. What is it? Got work for you, because you look to me eyes like a witcher. Am I right? What do you need? Need for my men to finish their work unharmed. But we got corpse seekers coming out all the while. Rid us of them, and we'll get there. Deal. Wow. 
What do you want? Good Witcher. Here, your share for your toil. See, so you're a man well traveled. So tell where is the pass is went to speak. Oh, you again. Looking for a pass? I've got a special price for you. What's your offer then? Because I already ran into your brother-in-law. He and his men can work in peace. Ah, well then, that changes everything. 